Bobby Wolfie here, and today I'm going to give you an extensive tour of my ship, the Fantasheska. Now, I started this ship in October 2014 and finished it in June 2015. But for storyline purposes, this is going to take place in the 1930s. For she is based off the Queen Mary. So, um, as you can see on the bow, we're going to do the exterior first. As you can see on the bow, uh, we have all the, the anchors, anchor chains set up, uh, all the mooring equipment. Uh, this anchor is just for looks. It's, uh, part of the design. Uh, these are the cranes and the crane equipment and that goes down into the very bottom of the ship. You can see through this this little window right here. Yes. Zifantasheska. And when you spawn in on this ship you spawn in right here. move my microphone so it's better. Okay, there we go. Welcome to Bobby Wolfie's new ship, the BWS Fantasheska. I do hope you will enjoy this as I have enjoyed building her. I give permission for YouTube videos of this ship. I do not give permission to duplicate this ship, but Russia doesn't listen, of course. Best if played on peaceful and high chunks uploaded to Planet Minecraft by Bobby Wolfie. I am the original creator. I built this. Please leave feedback on Planet Minecraft. I would like that. Go do it. It's fun. I don't I don't know if you have to make an account actually. Just, you know, if you like the ship, cool. I'm I'm glad. I it took me min 9 months to build. It's like giving birth. About this build, please leave comments and diamonds. That's for Planet Minecraft. Their system is like diamonds or something. So, this is 1937. And my ship is the most innovative thing of 1937. Because it's a video game. <laughs> Small joke. I don't know. If we keep going over this, the funnel colors uh, for my shipping line are gray, yellow, and black. Uh, these lifeboats uh, are based off another design that I've seen. Uh, there's the kennels, uh, tennis courts, shuffle board, uh, some rest area up here. There's some more rest area at the back above the ballroom. And then there's the bar, and then uh, here's the stoin of the ship. Now, we're going to go deck by deck in this video, so it's going to be a pretty long video because there's a lot to see on this ship. What a great vantage point right here. Okay. Sorry. It's a photo moment right here. Uh, yes. So, where to, where to, where to begin? Uh, let's, I'll sh let me show you some of the stuff on deck here, and then I'll just go deck by deck, right? Okay. That sounds right. Let's go into... People say this ship is confusing to navigate. And I don't understand because I built it, you know, where all the hallways just go straight down the entire ship and you can basically get to everything from each hallway. Um, I want to get out of this mode though. Options. Field of view, not 40. I want it to be, like, normal. Okay, there we go. So here is the bridge. We froze for a second. You can see out over the ship. It's very, very nice viewpoint. Uh, up here it's a bit easier because the bridge comes up. I was trying to make things more dynamic at this point. There should be a mine cart going around and around right there, but you know what? For some reason, there's just not, and that's okay. I'm not gonna, not gonna blame it. We're gonna go 
down here and see so you got the alternating captain room you got the chart room here I'm just reading these it's been a while since I was on here wireless room and they have a door out they can get some air nice fresh air for them they deserve it and then uh, the, r the meeting room right here it's kinda plain go down into here we got some rooms that, there's some still some empty rooms in here cuz I don't know what to put there was extra rooms after I looked at the deck plans of the Queen Mary to get inspiration of how many rooms to do I didn't do the layout but you know captain room it's like the only suit of armor the bathroom the bedroom and the captain gets the forward facing windows so uh, you know, Captain. Here's the officers. I don't know why these aren't labeled. No, they're not. They are labeled. They're right here. Labeled, labeled, labeled. Yeah, oh, officer. These are all the same. It's just a bed and a bathroom. Uh, my bathrooms on my ships consist of a toilet. That's it. Nobody takes showers on in Minecraft. It's not necessary. Nobody goes to the bathroom, but I mean, Chief Officer. I can't help but notice that it's raining. Is it nighttime too? I can just sleep. Okay, there we go. Uh, boop -ba -doo, doo 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 doo. Staff Captain. Yes, yes. Uh, this is going to be the same as the captain on the other side. Um, ba -doo 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 -doo. And he, that's that's basically this. Third officer, first officer. And then back here is just another exit. And that is those. And then, do 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 do, we stroll down the boat deck. And actually, we're, we need to be up a deck because we need to go up here. I want to see the kennels behind the officers, you know, house. Um, there are kennels, and they're not much, but I mean there are kennels, so I thought that would be notable. Your doggy can come to see, or your chicken, or your cat. Do, 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 do. This is probably for equipment or something. I never filled it out because, you know, I was trying to get the ship released on my birthday. I have gotten more stuff out of it, though. This is the air conditioning up here. So, really, it's just the big air conditioner. And actually, you can see into the smokestack, which I don't necessarily no you can't ha ha can't see into the smokestack ha 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 okay and then uh if you go through here uh it goes down to the sports deck which we'll get to but i don't want to do it yet um but it do there's a staircase that goes to like the grand staircase so it comes all the way up. There's the lounge. That's the housing around the lounge. And uh, that's the housing above the ballroom. So those are very tall rooms. And then that will that sums up like this top part. Now for the boat deck. Boat deck. Woo. Here at the stern of the boat deck. You can look off and see the rest of the ship back there. But you can also, one of the options you have while standing on the boat deck, is you can come in to the bar right here. And it's a very nice, nice big bar. Uh, it's uh, based off of something at the, the Manchester Grand Hyatt in San Diego, where I live. And I always go and I walk around there. So I see this a lot. And it's like the color scheme. And I really like it. 
uh, there's some shelves, you know, and then back here you can, you know, the big window so you can see this the sky outside change and everything. And it's just a nice, uh, nice bar. There's a men's room and a woman's room. I don't know how intricate they are. I got some pretty good, good detail. Uh, again on this deck, there is do 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 do. Do, do 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 I don't like flying through all of this. There's just a lot of entrances into this ship. You know, you go down from there, and uh, it's kind of a tight staircase. Why did I design that tight? Uh, yeah. Um. So midship entrance right there. With another staircase, and then sports entrance. So the sports deck is on here and that's what I'll show you right now okay well first off uh, the interior for this deck is the midship entrance it's all blocked off from the other side you have to go down and over to come back up for for the other staircase but um so there's crew right here and it's a kitchen And then uh, here's your staircase. Uh, and this is to everything else. You can get your picture taken with an anchor. It's very cruise ship inspired, but you know, it. I didn't know what to put here, so I figured I'd just put that so people can take pictures. And then... Uh, yeah, so here's some pool tables. I know it's not accurate to the time, but you know, tennis things. Uh, here's the other staircase. So, I mean, this is the forward grand staircase, the top of it. Uh, and then, uh, actually, there's more over here that I didn't show. There is. A racket ball court right here. And there is a basketball court right here. So, you know, there's lots of different sports things to be done on this ship. Let me go over here. Gym. Okay, I understand the gym looks a bit different and modern, and I understand completely. And I agree. And had I done a gym today, it wouldn't look like this. Ooh, I like this, though. This is a good design. Ooh, this design makes me happy. Inspiration. Anyway, that sums up that deck pretty well, I think. There's nothing forward, no. No, because these rooms are tall. What is this? Oh, this is just the, the crew sleeping place again. Okay. Da da na 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 ba na 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 Now we go down a deck. On the forward staircase, uh, do 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 do. Here is the promenade deck. Promenade deck. Let's start at the very forward of the promenade deck because I feel like that's very important, and that is the observation bar, so which is right here. Here's the observation bar. Based off both Cunard ship, the Queen Mary and the Queen Elizabeth, and uh, with my own spin on it, I, this I built this like before I even decided to build this ship. Um, I built it for another ship, and I kind of just ripped it out of that because I still like the design. It still held up for me. Uh, these two woods had just come out, uh, or well, no, the dark dark oak just came out, and. Uh, 
pairing them together for me was just like the greatest contrasting experience ever. So I decided to do that. And then, uh, you know, there's the bar here. And then I added a kitchen back here, which goes up to the promenade deck so the kitchen people can do something. I don't know. There's a closet up there too. Uh, there's the fridge. You know, it just has enough to, you know, observation bar foods. And, you know, it's kind of more based off what the observation bar is now on the Queen Mary than what it probably was. Because now they serve buffalo wings, and I mean, that's better. Okay. Anything that served buffalo wings. Okay. This is an information desk that's just there. And then uh, we're going to look at the writing room and the smoking room. Writing room. Yes, this is the writing room. Fantischeskia's writing room. Now, um, it's lighter and frothier because this is, this is where women would go after dinner. At the, at the time, you know, in, in in upper class situations, there's the smoking room where the men would recess to after dinner to smoke away their life, and then there's lots of skylights. And I made it very cabin manly. You know, I really like this. I like to call it the wicker wicker look, but I guess it could also be parquet. But I mean, it's a wall, it's not a floor. And uh. The floor is very plain in this room, which I would do differently now. But, I mean, there's a lot more detail in the rest of the room. So, I mean, I probably didn't want to detract from that. Uh, yes, this forward staircase. Forward staircase. I know my ship like the back of my face. Lift motors, crew only. What is this? The stair this is goes down. Okay. Uh, this is the top of the mall like the mall balcony. What is this? I'm learning. Meeting room. Yes. Cigar shop. So you can go to the smoking room and have something to do. Here's a shop. Here's the malt shop for the younger folks. Get your malts. Get your malts. I know it has more of like a 50s thing, but you know, it's it's trying, it's trying, it's trying. And then, uh, Purser's office, you could drop off your valuables here. Just so you know. Crew only. And these hatches go down. What is this? That's the back of the Purser's office. Okay, I know what I know what this is. I know what I built. Um, what's on this side? Mall communications. Uh, these are all very generic inside. Another kind of just weird space. Um, -doo 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 -doo. And then here are more lift motors. But uh, then we go blazing forward. This is the only way back to the next section of the ship, which is the mid staircase here, main staircase, yay, and now this is all very exciting to show, because this is the grand lounge, I spent so much time designing this on graph paper, laying out all the furnishings, and uh, oh my goodness, yes, there was a lot of, well, yeah, this whole ship, there was a lot of work like that that went in, uh, but this room especially, because I'm going off that, you know, on the Queen Mary's you have three tiers, a lower, higher, and lower again, and that's what I wanted to do with this, and I wanted the lowers to be at least too high as well, you know, two room heights, or one and a half, which I think this is, that I would normally do, a normal room height is three high, so right here, and then floor ceiling or ceiling floor one two three high ceiling floor one so this is and then some and this used to go up to here I think and uh, I added the top part because I I wanted it to be a bit grander and uh, 
Yeah, that that's why that happened. It is totally like it's incredibly inspired by the Queen Mary's. Because the Queen Mary is just a fantastic, beautiful ship. And uh yes. And then uh the it, the floor plan's even a bit similar but different. Uh so back here there is a sitting space. Uh so you can relax after going to the ballroom. Uh, and then there's a bar back here, too. And I love this bar. I love how it's tucked in. Uh, I mean, you don't have to go to it. You can go, like, past it, you know. Uh, this room is another sitting space, but a bit darker than the one on the other side. And then, uh, back here, here's this, here's another staircase that goes all the way down and up. So, uh, this is for crew... Peru. And then the ballroom. Which is as old as the observation bar. It's gone undergone some some in, intense changes over the years. So yeah. Here's the it's based off can you guess? It's based off of Normandy's dining room. Uh very much based off of Normandy's dining room. And then out these doors is the back of the ship. Uh, grand ballroom. And on the side of the grand ballroom is this nice sitting area, which goes into... I cannot fly right now, so I'm just going to do this. Okay. The end of the promenade deck. So the promenade continues out here. Because I wanted some of it to be open. Because I like that throwback to uh, earlier ships. Like the 1920s and whatnot. So. Uh, and yes. So we, Oh, that, that's the bar again. If you want to go to the bar, it's up here. The big bar. And then uh, back here is the... Did I not put a name on it? Because I suck. Anyway, it's the the veranda grill. You know, back here. Ah! And there's a salad bar. This is my attempt at a salad bar. And on the other side is other foods, I think. It's like a buffet style. Yeah, 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 yeah. By buffet. I saw someone do that, and I was like, that is the most clever thing I've ever seen in Minecraft. Oh, yes, you can look down, you can eat out here, it's a nice candlelight. It's a lovely sea, sea night. Yeah, it is. And then we're going to go down. So we're going to... It's time to go down a deck. To the main deck. Main deck. Down a deck. To the main deck. What is this? Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Let's go around the back first. Let's see, here's state rooms. These are the suites, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here is, uh... Here's one of the suites. Right here. Bathroom, big bathroom, and bedroom with with a private deck. Privacy. I don't remember how many of these there are on the ship, but you know. Um, boom, boom. What is this? Normal room. I guess I can show that too. Normal room. Normal room. I'm just gonna leave that up. That's all right. What is out this door? My deck. Let's do the deck first. Uh, here's the pool at the stern of the ship. Uh, here. 
Somewhere beyond the sea, somewhere. Someone has feet. They can walk. Oh my god. Okay, uh, yeah, so the fool's here. Um, and elevator lifts crew only. This is the staircase, the f furthest back staircase, and I think it only goes up to here. It only goes up to main deck. Okay, this deck is divided, actually. This deck is divided. So, uh, if you are in the rooms here, the deck will cut off at this wall, right? And you can get to it from the main staircase. And, uh... I feel like I should label these. I'm going to do a further release and just do that. Cinema exit. Oh, there's going to be a cinema downstairs. Okay. So, uh, there are long galleries at the bottoms of these staircases right here. And they look like this. Uh, a lot of furniture to one side with a walkway. You know, a nice place to relax and lounge and hang out, mingle. You know, chill, chill. And they go into outside areas. It's the same on the other side. Exactly the same. And uh, it'll go into the forward, into the mall here, is what I call it. And that, here's the mall. And there's a library, which I love this library. It's nice and simple. It has some nice big windows. It's got these two big tables. Like this you can look something up. What is this? There's a sitting room. You know, sometimes you want to sit. This is supposed to be a grill. Like, I wanted it to be a grill. And then that's supposed to be like the kitchen. And it's supposed to kind of be like... Kind of like fast food. You come up to the window and you'd be like, I want a hamburger. I want it. And then this is the children's playroom. The children play with their little dead friends in there. You know. Why not? Gift shop. I don't know. It, like, it took me forever to think of like what even to shove in here. Maritime goods. Um, and then this like weird centerpiece thing. So that's there. And then uh, uh, if we go further from that. Well, first off, there are more air deck area right there. And then, uh... And we got the October Lounge. This is the month that I started the ship. And I love the colors in here. Like, I adore this, like, fall color palette. Oh, man. Let me out. Okay. These elevate. I never noticed they were like separate from the stairs. Okay, health spa. This reminds me of like New Mexico because of the colors. And then uh, there's a lap pool. There is. That's the rest of the lap pool. The changing rooms are back here. It's, it's like everything you'd expect of a spa. Sauna. The penis doors. I can't not see that. Uh, there's a bathroom right here. Nice, nice long bathroom. And then there's a hot tub. Massage tables. Hot sand. And mud bath. So, you know, everything you could possibly dream of. At a spa. And, um... Uh, reading room. It's right here. It's just a small, nice little, you know... I got a book at the library over there. I'm gonna... Go to the reading room and read it. And then, what is this? These are just bathrooms, right? Yeah. If you happen to hear, like, a tapping behind me, it's raining right now. That's why. Okay. Uh, that is all to see on this deck. So we're going to go down another deck. Now we are on a deck. And there's a doctor doctor in the house. It's very gray like a doctor's office. You know, you're sick. You don't want to see no colors. You just want to see sickness. 
get down with the sickness on a ship. Okay, uh, this is the deck that I believe, what is this? Oh, so, here's the chapel. So, there's a chapel right here. And I built this upside down, actually. I built the ceiling, and then I flipped it over and built the walls, and then the floor. Because I wanted the ceiling to really make a pop with the, with the lights anyway. And it, it gives a nice traditional church feel, uh, which is what I wanted for this part of the ship. And then you go back here, this is where like the priest lives in the, his bathroom and like his, his little blessing sink and stuff. Uh, you know, his living space and his office and his bedroom. It's right here. He's got a cool looking fireplace, you know. He's got it going on. Okay, uh... Excuse me, everyone. I'd like to tell you something. I'm a priest. No, I'm not, actually. <laughs> Lots of flowers, because flowers are nice. Okay. And if we go out this way, there is a, you know, you're waiting to go into church, and then you just kind of want to relax here first. There's a fantastic fireplace here, you know. It's nice. And that is that. And then, uh, crew only. That's so you can moor the ship to the dock, in case you're wondering. What is this? Sitting spaces. Which are good. Um, we already saw the doctor. Was there something up here? Was there? Is this laundry? This is the laundry. The linens! They are taken here and washed vigorously. Da -na 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 -da. Ooh, it's a nice jungle cafe. That's not what it's called. I called it something else, but I don't remember anymore. Uh... I wanted as many public spaces on this ship as possible, so I put this on both sides. This one don't got no vines though, this one's just kind of more plain. And here we have, prepare yourself, the grand entrance right here. You come in, you board the ship right here, check in, and you come down the hall to your room or you go over here to the staircase, you know there's lots of ways to go. And then you could do it from that side of the ship, too. So, that is exciting. Here's a library. So, that's a second library. Uh, crew only... Crew only have eyes for you. I need to go on this side, because there is... A cinema that you can only access... If you're looking forward at the bow of the ship... You can only access this on the starboard side. And it is the cinema. Which turned out so great. And then you have emergency exits to deck up, and we saw those earlier. Uh, I love how this turned out. Uh, yes, that's all I have to say about that. I already have the cinema built for the next ship, too. Um, ba -doo -doo -doo. These are all rooms. Are these all normal rooms? They are normal rooms. And then, uh, this is... Shabu Shabu. Another lounge. Another grand lounge. Uh... Get a different atmosphere. To me, I feel like it gives off, like, a Latin feel, but I don't know. That's just me. I don't know why. And then, you got these... Uh, side staircases here. What is this? That's like that again. The side staircases. They go down the whole ship. And then the lifts and stuff. And then behind that is another exit of the ship. Uh, is there a gym? I feel like they're... I'm exploring this for the first time in a long time. Are they just rooms back here? What is this? 
crew only. Oh yeah, there were these uh, that go back out, out of the ship. Is there a door here? Yeah, there is. It's just not shut. So yeah, this goes to the very stern of the ship. And, uh... Climbing up the flagpole. So yeah, there's the stern. And there's... Yeah, that's... Uh, what deck is this? I don't remember. Crew only. I'm, I'm, I never look in the crew spaces because they're always so plain. It's a lot of space for crew to hustle and bustle. I think of bees when I think of the crew. Okay, let's see. You know what? I lied before. I think this is the furthest back staircase on the ship. Not the other one. The other one's a bit further up. Okay, now we are on B deck. B deck... This is, uh, this lounge right here, I was thinking it's more of, like, for youth, for youngsters to come and hang out. You know, there's little sitting areas, like, tucked away back here, and I really like that. You know, they, nice place for them to, to chillax in the 30s. Oh, that's not a stateroom, that's crew. Not even labeled. Well, yeah, these are the smaller rooms. They don't have the living room side. So. That's a notable difference. And is this the gym? I know there's a gym over here somewhere. Yes, I nice. Here's a gym, barbells and treadmills, which are not accurate to the time. But you know what? Gym equipment is hard to make in Minecraft, and that's all I have to say. Is this the boss? Here's some more religious spaces. Religious space. This one's bright. Bright, cheery room. Cheery amor. Yeah, so these hallways. I'm so proud of these hallways. What is that? That's crew. Uh, yes. Uh, is there any other public spaces over here? I don't think so. I could be wrong. I think B deck, B C deck is R deck, right? What is this? There are ballrooms. I forgot about the ballrooms. It's uh basically places where people can have meetings and stuff. You know, D uh, smaller dance parties. Another venue for events. A venue. Sorry about that. Someone came on Skype and I had to cut it out. I'm sure that's happened in the video already, but you know what? There's nothing I can do. There is a casino on this ship. Casino right here. And, uh, I don't remember what I based it off of. I think I was looking at pictures of, like, ca casinos, like, colors, anyway. I know these probably aren't accurate to the time, but you know what? I think this is clever, and you know what? I'm just super proud of it, so you know what? There. And there's different card games and stuff. And that's the casino, and then there's lighting, and, you know, things, you know. Uh, if I go further on B deck, uh, this is the first deck that goes all the way under. Um, the barber? I really like the barber shop in here. There's a lot of detail. These walls here. Um, hair dryers. Hair washer. Stylus. You know, uh, there's a lot that can be done there. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Crew only. It gets so dark. In the forward crew areas here, it goes all the way up to the bow, I believe. All the way up to the bow. Yep, here's the bow. 
the very peak of the bow. And you can explore this on your own. There's nothing that interesting in it. Aside from this, like if you go up here, you might find this room somewhat interesting. And this is this is right out here. If you want to just quickly get to it and look at it, it's right here. It's right in there. Okay, let's get back to where we were. B deck. We did not go the right way. My ship is a maze. Press reception room. Is this the dark room? It is! I built a photo dark room. It's right here. <laughs> it's in the ship. I'm very proud of it. There we go. And this goes all the way down. Okay, but back into the normal ship. Okay. Ba -da 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 -da. There's a little lounge right here. You know, there's little ones scattered around, so like if a family, somebody wakes up in the middle of the night, they can come somewhere and relax. Here's another one, a pink one. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> that happened. Uh casino again casino it's a jail <laughs> apparently did I do all this already yeah I want to double check up up the flight of stairs here to make sure I didn't miss anything on the a deck up here. Is this just the chapel? Yeah, we already did this. So now we're going to go to C deck. B deck is C deck. Or, yes. So, here's a, another lobby options. You know, if you board the ship here, which you can't at the moment because the doors are doing that. Uh, here's another lobby. And then you take back here to do a meeting or something. I don't know. And shaboom. Shaboom. And then C deck is also known as R deck for the most part because it's the deck that the grand salon is on. Oh, here's a chapel here. Another chapel. I think there's three or four on this ship. I don't remember. Well, it's a nice tall room. Good acoustics. Which is why opposing that on the other side is a music studio. Uh, yes, so here is the music studio on board. There's a piano, uh, some recording equipment, a microphone stand, a microphone, and some other audio thing. I don't know. You know, host a radio show, radio broadcast. Let's see. Here's some more staterooms. A bit plainer. As the further you go down in this, they get plainer and plainer. So you just have to expect that. And then these hallways are, this is the only place the hallways differ this much. I forget why. These bathrooms are unique right here because they have mirrors. They have mirror, which is just a piece of glass and the other bathrooms built reverse. So I thought that was clever when I did it, but then I realized other people had already done it, so I wasn't thrilled anymore. The reception before the dining, and then you go into the grand dining salon, and this is what you see. Oh my god, I love this room. So proud of this room. Uh, this is the second build of this room I did. The first release of Fantasheska, if you're lucky enough to have that, has a blue dining room. Very rare now. And uh, this one... I was like, I need to redesign the dining room because I'm not satisfied with it. So I based them all around these 
pillars right here. And that's probably what I'm going to do on the next one. I, I'm pretty sure, like, these pillars were taken from Queen Elizabeth, maybe? I don't remember. But, yeah, and then there's red and pink. And it's perfect for the upcoming Valentine's Day, so, you know. There's a small stage, you know. The stage has a lot of character, this stage, uh, and I like that a lot. There's a little dance floor, which the other dining room didn't have. And, uh... Here's some dining chairs and uh, I don't know what other dining stuff. And uh, see, there's the main entrances on each side to the dining room if you come down like the forward staircase. But if you come out this door, it goes to that side staircase that I mentioned goes all the way up the ship. And there's, because uh, this is a small clip, uh, it's not like, this doesn't connect to the rest. And here are phones. Okay, so you want to make a phone call. It was based off of a restaurant, like a few. And then, uh, before I get to that way, I'm going to show you the crew. The crew space right here, because this crew space is special. It goes all the way up the ship. You know, you can take things to, say you're like, I need to take something up to the main lounge. Or, you know, I need to take something out here and, you know, deliver it over there you know uh you can can it connects it enter goes to the whole ship like uh and that's what i like about it and this is the entrance to the other uh dining room which i'll get to uh but this is the kitchen the main kitchen on the ship the main kitchen i i this is a ventilate it ventilates air into the room and out of the room you know and then uh Dishwashing area, storage, cooking area, drink area over here. You know, I divided everything pretty well. Ovens. Um, in here you got your soups, I, th I believe. Yeah, soup and potato pressure cookers and stuff. Refrigerators and... Uh, Uh, yeah, other space, and then it goes back into other crew spaces. Store food storage. Food storage. What is this office? You know, there's a bunch of random crew stuff. Uh, I don't even remember what's in here. But uh, yeah, crew space, and then this is the library. Yeah, yeah, we'll get to that Twilight Library. Okay, um, but that's the back of this. Okay. Oh my god! Okay, we went the wrong way. We'll get through this. Oh boy! Um, do 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 do. Okay, we're gonna go. Okay, that was what I was hoping was going to happen. Alright, we're going to go down this hall right here. These are the few rooms that are... These are the few rooms that are on our deck. And then there's the other staircase. So, God, I love this design. I love it so much. You know. Nice rooms. They, it is nice. Uh, yeah, here's the first, or the, the restaurant, the main restaurant, and it's actually more 50s inspired, but, um, you know, forgive me. <laughs> there's some private tables, which are bigger tables, and then there's walls to, you know, kind of give it atmosphere and break up the noise. Here's a bar. You know, you got other tables back here. It's a weird long room, but I really like it. And then, um, there is more over here. There's a bar here. I think it's a pun, actually. Minnie's bar. And then there's a library, Twilight Library. And that's like the first library I did for this ship, which is very out of place on this deck now that I look back at it, and that's something I wouldn't repeat. 
And then there's Normandy's restaurant at the stern, which reminds me of the 1990s. But, uh, yeah, here, here's that. I like it. It's a nice ship. And then there's a kitchen to the side here. Yeah, a kitchen to the side. And, uh, there's a bar. There's a lot of bars on this ship. Which is weird, considering at the time that I built this, I didn't drink, so... <laughs> uh, yeah. Staff only. It should say crew only. Well, I guess it's kitchen staff, actually. So never mind. Kitchen staff. And that's the back of this. We don't go further back than that. And then D-deck... Don't freeze. Coronia room. There's some nice things on D-Deck, actually. So, we're back here is the Coronia room. There's another Cunard ship that I really like. And since this ship is just based off Cunard ships, you know. Uh, what room is this? I forget. Aquitania room. Aha. Uh -huh. And then the Titanic bar, of course. Because... Everyone's obsessed with Titanic. The pun is that it's at the stern, and that's the last part of Titanic you ever saw. Um, mm, doo -doo -doo. Is that it? Okay. So this section right here is very secluded off, which is why I'm glad I stumbled upon it, because uh, only this staircase goes to it, and this is the only way out of it. So I need to go to another staircase, which... Uh, I'm gonna do, go, go this way. Okay. Dogs be barking in the house! Okay. So we're gonna go around... What is this? to E deck. Ah, okay, yes. Now we're at the pool. Poo poo. Here's one of the pools. One of the pools. This pool is so nice. Oh. There's a sauna in here too. Uh, this pool is like my idea of the family pool, I think. Uh, that's, that was always a s inspiration to me for it. I want it to be like adventure, you know, like when you go to the rainforest cafe or something. Like, I wanted it, you to see pieces of the earth in it, you know, colored flowers blossoming and things like that. I want it to be very wondrous and magical. Um, over here... I'm already lost. It's a gym. gym. This is the first one I did. This one has a ton of stuff. I like the design. Uh, got the barbells over here. That's a good design. And then... Crew only, but this goes back to... Yeah, it just goes to crew places. Crew places. Woo. Um, no, no, no. Laundry. Did I pass the? No, it's right here. Ice skating. There is an ice skating ring on here. So. Ice skating ring. And then, uh, there's the pool again. And if we, if we fly a little, we are at the other pool. And there's a, this is the big jacuzzi actually. It's, doesn't make sense, but you know. Uh, here is this bar, pool bar. I don't, and then uh, here is uh, the pool fireplace back there. 
and then uh, there are dryers here, very futuristic, I'm sure. Um, here are some showers and changing rooms. Oh, no, those are showers. This is changing room. Well, you know, they're showers slash changing rooms, you know. They do it all. They do it all, okay? Multi-purpose rooms. There are a few around here. Those are an honorable mention. Uh, theater gift shop. Because we're about to go to the theater. Forward staircase. Very bottom of the forward staircase. So we're going to get into crew right in a second. Um, travel bureau. Ships have. Alright. Um, yes, so we are on D-deck. We are going into this showing plays that didn't exist at the time because you know what why not and uh yep here here it is the theater and i built this along with the observation bar and the ballroom all at the same time for a different ship and they're all carryovers from the first fantasesca that i built it had the same name and then uh the mv fantasesca this one's BWS Bobby Wolfie ship Fantasesca. Um but yes, uh you got microphones and stuff. And all the, the the thing about this room is that all the lighting in this room is adjustable. Floor lights, overhead lights, stage floor lights. And then yeah, so I'm just going to leave it dark for now because I feel like it's a good idea. You know, there's storage up there. There's uh, this. I took the doors off because they were annoying me. Uh, when they bring things down with the cranes, they can be pulled over into this, this stage area so they can have big props. It's an idea that I had to kind of put that together. Which I thought was worked well. Where are my stage overhead lights? There we go. Uh, I don't need the stage floor lights. Go off. And then uh, this goes back into more crew area. Area. Aria. It's very plain. I don't know if you can hear, but there's wind just blasting around the world here. So we're in a storm or something. We're supposed to be in a drought. This goes all the way to the bow. Uh, those California storms, there's nothing like them. Let's see. Yeah, okay, uh, we gotta go down crew now, because we can't access the other staircases. So, this is really the end of, like, you know, there's some stuff here. But then, uh, you know, we, we go into the, the ship, ship, the, the underbelly here. This is it, this is forward. This is, there's peak tanks behind this wall, there's nothing... You know, here it is. This is the baggage cargo, and I love the one on the new ship. And uh, this one was good for its time. You know, uh, I should have probably filled it with stuff. But yeah, th this is this is that. And now that we're in the underbelly, that means that this is the last deck. Mail, mail room. The mail room is very grand on this. Thing. That's dangerous. Here's the water softening plant, or my perception of which at the time. There are little cuts in the walls because I didn't know how to traverse my own ship for some reason. Uh, forward boiling room. This is for the electrical in the ship. Powers the lights. Um, boiler rooms. These are the to power the ship and make it go forward. Yarrow Boilers, right? Yes, Yarrow, I'm pretty sure. Um, 
and uh, these are laid out per the Queen Mary's uh, deck plans. There's the electrical plant. I based it off a picture of the Queen Mary, actually. This ship is so undetailed. Okay, here's the this. That that would be the picture I think I saw, and uh, yeah. Uh, so there's the electrical plant. Na -na 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 -na. More. <gasps> oh my God! I went like this, and I saw that stuff, and it scared me. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. There's just more. More yellow, yellow boilers, and then the electrical plant, and then more boilers. Many boiler rooms, you know, stuff. And then the engine room, which I don't even remember what this one looks like. This is the worst engine room in life. I hate this engine. I hate these engine rooms. I hate it. Wait till you see, well, I mean, it's already in videos, but the engine room on the new ship. Oh my god. Oh. My god. That'll change the world. We skipped the crew deck, guys. There's a crew deck. A deck entirely for crew. Bathrooms. And this will be the last thing. Uh, penis door beds. Bunk beds. You know, crew. There's a bunch of these that are exactly the same. So... That's all these doors. And, uh... Um, there's a storm outside. Oh my goodness. Here's the crew mess hall. I figured they needed a hundred tables because they're messy. Oh, I'm kidding. There's a lot of them hustling and bustling in and out and in and out and in and out and in and out and in and out. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, from both sides, you know, they're doing in shifts. They're working hard. They're doing their job, and uh, that is, all this stuff I think is blank, but I mean, uh, I know where I'm going right now, I know exactly where I'm going. I am a genius. I'm not a genius, I'm frozen. I think the redstone's giving it a hard time. But, uh, yeah, I know exactly where I am. Let's see. Uh, yes. And then the, this just goes all the way up the ship. The ship is not hard to tra tra The power just went out. That was very scary. The power is going out off and on, so like, I'm probably gonna have to end this video. My computer has a battery. This is the proudest moment of my entire life. So, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna end this video here. The power's on again! The radio turned itself on. That's so scary! My house is so haunted right now. Anyway, I should go deal with these ghosts. <laughs> um, thank you for watching. Um, bye. Uh, yeah, but I'm glad this computer has a battery, because that would have sucked to lose this recording. Okay, bye. Thank you for enjoying this ship, uh, Fantasheska. Download it. It's at Planet Minecraft in the description. Like, comment, subscribe. What in the crap?